Uh, we will be getting started in a, in a little bit here. Um, make sure everything's going looking okay there, okay? Uh, and we will be continuing with what we did yesterday, which is uh, trying to create uh, tiles on uh, an OSM map. Uh, in this case, we're actually doing something a little bit special here. We're going to try to do them with the uh, create the tiles on the fly uh, from the client side instead of from the server side. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and announce the stream now. And also, my blood sugar is a little bit low, so if you're into like risk watching, I may go hypoglycemic on you, but probably not. All right, let me go ahead and inter uh, let me go ahead and announce the stream in the same channels that I always do. That always ignore me because it's very exciting. And they have asked me to uh, bracket my uh, hyperlink so I don't uh, <laughs> so I don't uh, scare people with my avatar, which I don't think is that scary, but you know. I am pretty ugly, and it's not an avatar of B, so... Okay. Alrighty. Let me... Just cut and paste, okay. So there's that. Replit server. Um, share your repls. I will share my repl. And... Okay, we've now announced it. No one will actually join unless someone joins. That's a tautology. Okay, yesterday we were a little bit stuck on uh, determining the great circle distance uh, between two points on a sphere, on, on the Earth actually. Um, and I've come up with a truly horrible solution to it, which is worse than the previous solutions that I had. And that truly, truly horrible solution is, it turns out I actually computed this function using Mathematica and converted it using something called, uh, a program I wrote called BC Rosetta. So we will go ahead and put that function, uh, that whole library, the bcrosetta.js library, uh, into, uh, into uh, Replit. And, but we'll probably write a wrapper around it because the way it works right now, um, it's all radians and it's multiple arguments instead of a sort of my standard of using a single argument that's an object, adding stuff to the object and returning it. So let's go ahead and see if I can uh, make that happen. And apparently no. All right, give me a second here. Okay, well. Okay. Oh, here we are. It has a strange name on my side, but it's... Okay, nice. It's only 24 lines, so I should be able to upload it. I'm going to rename it uh, from its ugly name to bcrosetta.js. Unfortunately, the documentation, I don't have it coming with these... Uh, um, I don't have the document. The documentation is in the file that creates these functions, but I haven't yet put the documentation into the files that get created. And sadly, the testing, uh, the things that are tested, uh, the test cases do get into the library, so it's not very, very useful. But let's go ahead and upload it. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Upload file. Okay. Here it comes. I'm going to move it into lib. I'm going to make a little bit of a change to it. So it's very, very ugly. Uh, this is just pure, ugly JavaScript that's converted from... Um, from Mathematica. And we don't even really need most of these functions. They are uh, functions for, in fact, let me get rid of most of them. They're functions for astronomy, which we're not doing, but it just so happens that a vector angle, which doesn't even sound like it should do what it does, is the correct uh, function. It's the only one we're gonna need right now. And th this actually gives you the angle of the vectors pointing to uh, two angles, you know, theta one, uh, phi one, theta two, phi two, those are the theta and phi coordinates uh, on the on the unit sphere. So we assume that there's a radius of one on this sphere. And again, this is all in radians, um, it w which it would have to be because, it's, of course, that's how we do trigonometry. Um, and even the results in radians, so we would have to convert that to uh, to the Earth's uh, to the Earth's radius. We can do all that. So now let's go back to our BC maps where we had actually. Uh, started on this function and just gotten bored with it. So let's see, I think I was doing, um, wow, here it is, GCD to object distance, okay. Um, 
in degrees and degrees. So, um, okay, so we'll just call it object distance and we'll do the raw call first. We might even actually look at a few examples and then we're going to fix it so it returns what it's supposed to return. And actually, dist is the distance in radians, so amazingly, this is going to be correct. And now, let's see if. Um, Yeah, I was kind of hoping I'd get um, the uh, the signature of the function uh, because uh, sometimes Rosetta, not Rosetta, Replit is smart enough to do that. I did not, of course, get that. So I'm going to go ahead and put it over here. And boy, these, these well, I mean, the arguments can be anything. So theta 1 will be, theta is longitude, longitude 1 times math degree. Um, it's going to be that one times math degree. Um, longitude two times math degree. I wish I had a s shorter constant. Nah, I guess this is okay. And then, of course, that two times math degree. Okay. Um, and, of course, all of these should have been... I wish there was sort of a using object do. So you could just assume that the variables are coming from fields in the object. There is not in JavaScript yet. And in theory, you could even invent like a meta language that does that, but I'm not going to do that right now. Okay. Um, and I guess we don't really need to return... Uh, we don't really need to return uh, the value of latitude and longitude in radians. I mean, that's something we could have done, kind of cute, but we don't really need to do that. So um, let me see if I can format this code better. That really didn't help. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do here again, very bad, console log gc dist. I thought I had an example already, but maybe I got rid of it. So let's take a look here. So we're going to start with some very basic tests, and then as they work, we're going to add miles and kilometers, which is not hard to do because uh, the Earth's circumference is 2 pi in radians, and it's very easy to convert that. Or, you know, I guess the Earth's radius is 1 in radians in, on the unit sphere. So that converting that to, to the uh, actual radius in kilometers and miles, not difficult. The Earth is actually an ellipsoid, has different radiuses at different uh, different latitudes, but we're going to ignore that. We're going to use the average. Okay, so let's see what we want to do here. Console log gc dist. Um, okay, good. We're only required to give two point uh, two. Uh, we're only required to give four values, which is exactly what I want. So uh, let's just start with a very basic. We sh will expect this number to be very close to pi because it is, uh, both of the points are on the equator, if I spelled them right. Um, and we're going from 0 to 180 degrees, which is halfway around the world, which is the fa furthest distance you can go around the world. And now let's see if, um, let's see if we get pi. Let's see if this even bothers to run, because, you know, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, of course. It got keyword. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to guess this is an O. Oh. Yes. I'm going to use it. I should probably include it. Although that's not the actual problem right now. Uh, and that's actually not the problem, I don't think, but let's go ahead and do it because that is a problem we need to fix. Now run, and syntax error. Okay, they're probably guessing BC Rosetta is the cause of this issue. Um, this, well, we could easily find out by just commenting this line out. Hmm. Well, well. It's not that line. All right, well, that's good in a way. So did I mess something up up here? Boy, it'd be really, really nice if you could tell me where this error. Let's see. 
Everything is saved, okay. Wow. All right, well, let's let's do our standard debugging stuff. Let's go ahead and I'll go over here. Let's just see if it's getting to this point, and then if it is, obviously the, the next line might be the problem. No. Fun, fun. I don't remember changing anything else, actually. Hmm. All right. Let's look in the basic index on each one. Maybe I messed something up in there. This looks fine. This right here looks fine. BC lib stage it looks fine. All right. Maybe I maybe I messed something up. Let URL equals this. These things have been working before. Tile layer, map zoom, map view, get rectangle. Um, get buttons. This all looks good. I think it's going to be something I added very recently. Well. All right. Well, let's let's do a console log here. It's possible it's just happening in the function loading, in which case uh, this isn't going to help. Hmm. So it does get over here, and because of the asynchronicity, we don't actually know that it, you know, before or after crap. Let's see if it gets to the end of the script. Duh. EOS, end of script. And sadly, something tells me it will. Yep, it does. Okay. So, of course, the problem is so much asynchronicity is occurring, that doesn't mean the pr problem occurred before the EOS. And it almost definitely is occurring in one of the libraries. Um, so, now this is actually kind of bad because, make this a little bit wider so we can have, oh come on, seriously? So we can basically uh, delete one of the libraries at a time. Of course, that's going to break other stuff. I mean, it's not it's not perfect because uh, these libraries depend on each other. Why is there a space here? Maybe that's the problem. Okay. So, let's make sure the problem still occurs. Yep. Uh, I'm pretty confident that the leaflet library is working okay. Let's go ahead and get rid of Rosetta for a second. Okay, it's fine. Oops. And maybe let's put it back over where it's supposed to be. Um, script JS should be empty, so I'm not too worried about that. Okay. Um, well, let's see if I've screwed up the staging library somehow. I probably have. That wasn't it. Damn it! And I can also just do an undo here now that I think about it. BC maps, that's probably the, the, the target. That's the one I think is probably the most effed up. Hmm, let's do that again to make sure. Okay. So we now narrowed it down to BC maps. Not actually that surprising. That is the one I'm working on. Um. Uh, you know what? See, the problem is why it's getting an if out of this, and I think it might just be because it's including something else after this, and um, the thing that's being included after this is has an if in it. So it's just like it's not really the problem is not with this file. So we're gonna x this out temporarily. Run. Okay, that. So that's either fine or it's not the problem, which I think is the same thing. So it's probably one of these damn things that I added yesterday. Let's go ahead and x this out real quick. Run. Nope, still broken. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of this. And this is really nice that you can sort of exit, run it, and un undo or paste back what you just did. Okay, it's not this function. Of course, it could be a it could be much worse than just a single function. It could whoa. Oh, you know what? It might be this right here. Um, 
because I did want to test the function, but it's possible that I've done something horrible. Let's see what happens if we... I'm going to keep this line gone, actually, because we, we're testing something else right now. Okay, didn't like that. Okay. Buffer tile. See, I don't think it's this one. But hey. Run. Ooh. Different error message. So... Oh, well, yeah, that's the problem right there. Half written, half written equality. Okay, vector angle is not defined, which is bad, but it's not fatal. I think it's because I actually spelled it the different way. Function oh, vector angle is defined. Let's see where Rosetta is being put in. Rosetta is being put in t way too late. Let's go ahead and put it in. In fact, let's put it even before BC lib because it's actually a very simple library. It should not have uh, any issues. Great. That's how they want to format this. The auto format never really works great, but okay. Math arc cosine is not a function. Really? Okay. Do I mean math? Okay. You can actually build the arc cosine from the arc tangent. But let's see what's going on. Oh, fooj, I always do that. And I always say I'm going to fix it. Okay. Oh, ACOS. Okay. Well, I need to. I need to. I'll make a note of that because I that I should I should actually know that. All right. So. Okay. And I'm making a note outside of the uh, outside of the stream. JS arc cos is actually ACOS fix BC Rosetta. Okay. So just make that ACOS run. Undefined. Well, you know, every every rose has its thorn. Just like that people have to sing. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. It looks like that function was actually called, because I think. Um... Okay, undefined, long one. So, that one. All right, well, let's, uh, let's do a little bit of um, let's console log what we get in. And then let's console log objdist after we've assigned it. Of course, this is a very ugly way to test because we're logging inside the function. Oh, have we hit the one special case it can't handle? Uh, because that actually should not be an issue, but I probably need to fix that, actually, if that is the issue. Okay, no, it's not. So, back triangle, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So let's go make this 180 again, because I don't believe it like that. Okay, uh, so the uh, the problem here is inside the function, which is going to be a pain to debug, because it is actually written in such a way that it's not meant to be debugged. Um, You know what? This might be one of the functions that I decided wasn't working. So let me uh, quickly uh, <laughs> see if the um, yeah, this might be one of the functions. It is an experimental library, so this I'm doing something outside that you can't see. But um, this might be one of the things that's actually not working, and I thought it was working. Damn it! Okay, let me fix the ACOS error. Um, yeah, it does not look like it's working, so that's that's kind of awesome. Um, great, so I made a mistake here. <sighs> Vector angle... Uh, uh, and again, this is very ugly written because it's coming from somewhere else. Uh, math cosine, math cosine, math cosine, plus... Uh 
okay. So we're still not going to get a freaking GCD disk function. Uh, we are going to have to use something else. Um, there is a library called um, that I think I'm actually I'm using and not re requiring because uh, REPL can get it automatically uh, called GIMP or J something that lets you do that. But um, I feel terrible about this. But um, let's see. Great circle or S Haversign. This is going to be the thing I die on, I'm pretty sure. Okay. This is going to be like my. Uh, Okay. There was actually a really nice place that had a bunch of these formulas for every different language. Um, there it is, Rosetta Code. See, they think the same way I do. Um, and I think, there it is, JavaScript. Yeah, I think we're in ES6. Um, well, this is the Haversign formula. Okay, and what's bugging me here is it's this freaking long and it doesn't need to be. Although, apparently, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, so maybe it does need to be. Um, so maybe that's the wrong place to go. And what do I want? Uh, great circle formula, Rosetta code. And yes, I realize I could do site colon or whatever. Um... just amazing that this is not simpler. Um, and it's also amazing that I'm not accepting that it's not simple and simply cut and pasting something. <sighs> now let's look at this one here. Whoa, how did that come up? Oh, because there's an ant here. Um, is this actually true? I mean, it's also a 1 minus... We have a simpler formula for Haversign. The Haversign of the central angle is computed by this, but the problem is... Uh, I'm pretty sure we need the anti-Haversign or something. I mean, we want to com compute the not the Haversign of the central angle, but rather the central angle itself. So, let's make things worse instead of better. Always, are always the way to go. Um, let's go ahead and uh, the Haversign function is actually pretty simple. So let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can uh, undo it. And okay, I thought someone had helped me out on Discord, but it's an unrelated issue. So let's see. Uh, we're we're going to we're gonna define the um, Haversign. If we're going to define the Haversign. We might as well. What the hell? Did we? Mm, I'm pretty sure I do all my math craziness over here. Maybe I commented it out, but even then it should show up. Alright, let's see where I define the... Um, degree. Okay, but that's not what I wanted. Okay, then it must be over here. Math degree. Come on, man. OK. 
I mean, I would want it in the staging library. There we are. Uh, and then we can also say here, do that. Oh, there it is, the Haversend function. Okay. It's not too hard to reverse this, and we're going to call it arc haversine, which is actually not correct, but you know, whatever. Okay. Okay, um... So, one minus code, so we take x, subtract one, or actually one minus x, I'm undoing the formula up here. So we have 1 minus x. Oh, Jesus, hang on. So that's x minus 1 over negative 1 which is 1 minus x times 2, and then the arc cosine of that. That should undo the um, Haversine function. And to test that, right here in line, where we should not do it. Uh, let's see. The haversine function should be defined for every number. Uh, let's see. Math cosine of x over 2. Alright, so for that i equals 0, i less than 3.14, that's about pi. And of course we want uh, just to increment it by 0 0.01. Console log have, which is the have sign, math have of i, and of course we don't really need all of these, a have, and again this is not useful because we're not, we don't really want the arc have of, uh, of i, but I'm just going to do this briefly. And then what we really want of course is uh, id question mark, and that is going to be the math have, let's just do this, of the math arc have of i. And then of course we want to do it the other way too. Which is more arc have of the have. Make sure this is actually a... Uh, Alright, let's see what that does. Probably just makes an ugly mess. Um... All right, let's see here. Arc have two times, and the problem is this is only defined for certain values of x. So I probably screwed something up here. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I did mess something up. I'm sorry, uh, this is actually, a, oh, the whole thing is over 2, so it's going to be 2 times x, uh, 1 minus 2 times x, arc cosine. This will probably also wrong, but you know, it's fun. We're getting closer. Oh, actually, hang on. It looks like for a good chunk of this, for the values for which it makes sense, this th this actually looks good. Uh, the IDs are coming up very much in the order I would expect, and they are opposites of each other. So, good deal. So now, we just can't get away from the freaking... And I might as well remove this code since it is incorrect. Uh, Alright, so we're just going to now just use the, because uh, I just can't seem to get away from it, the freaking Haversine formula. So the Haversine formula is right there. Um, and I'm going to use the Wikipedia form. Um, the haversine of the central angle, so we first want the haversine of the difference in the latitudes. Yeah, we're going to do it 
this slowly. Distance in the uh, latitudes, which is going to be, oh, that's actually just object lat. Ooh. In radians. I just want to give up now. All right, I think we actually had some of this stuff. I don't. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it back. But I don't think it'll be that hard to recreate. Flat two, long one, long two. Flat two, long one, long two. We're going to do a lot of testing, I think, because I'm just really not happy. Um, okay. The haver sign, uh, okay, of the distance between the latitudes in radians. Object flat one. Maybe I should be using temporary variables, you think? Plus, I think it's the product of the the, co the product of the cosine of the two latitudes times the haversine plus the cosine of object one rat times the cosine of math cosine sorry times the cosine of object two rad. All of that times the haversine. I think I'm getting down to it now of the difference in the longitudes. And I think this is a even function, so this shouldn't matter. Although it does matter that I put in the word rad there. Okay. That gives me the haversine of the distance, so now I just want the... a have of all that. This doesn't work, I swear I'm going to go to temporary variables and, and or kill myself. So one or the other is going to get some interesting stuff going on here. Okay, let's see what this does. If I hope I got rid of that test earlier. Math a have is, oh yeah, because I said arc have, not a have, which might have been a mistake actually, but. Woohoo! Undefined! Hmm. Oh, this is actually read. This should be rad, but it should make a difference because... Woohoo! That didn't work. Alright. Okay, so now we're going to do the kind of debugging. Oh, hello. Uh, welcome the two people who have joined. I'm not going to say your names in case you want to remain anonymous. Not that I'm not sure you really can, though. Uh, but thank you for watching. Okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, what programmers have to do, hate to do, but we're going to do it. Uh, let's first console log the first part of the haversine formula, which is the haversine of the difference in the latitudes. And let's just see if that is going okay. Got to stop typing that minus object. Okay, see what that does. It's not looking good. I'll call this alpha just so we know where, where we are in the code. Those should be on separate lines, okay. Okay. Now I know one way to do this, and I really am trying to avoid doing it, is to convert the spherical coordinates, take the dot product, and then take the uh, arc cosine of that. I know that works because um, that's, that's a very basic mathematical property. Okay. So let's see. Taking the dot product should not be too difficult. Um, I swear to God, this should not be this complicated.
Okay, we're going to give this latitude to make it one degree just so it's not the same as... Yeah, that didn't help at all. All right. I'm going to make a note here to do find much, because we're going to call this function a lot of times, so this is going to be inefficient. Now, if this works with this formula, the inefficient way, I'm going to be, like, super excited. Um, so let's see. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a um, x, y, z to spherical function, although, of course, it's not going to tell me about that. And let me see where that is. And that's one of the few functions that does not use the, um, the object protocol. x, y, z, 2. No. There we go. Oh, it, it does use that. Okay, so object, it's going to be um, just x, y, and z. Square length. Oh, okay. Wow. Not as easy as I thought, but it shouldn't be too bad. So it's going to be, uh, we actually want to go the other way, I think, spherical to x, y, z. Um, and to do document this and following function. It's not that hard, but we still should document it. And we're going to take theta, th, ph, and r, which r is going to be 1. So let's go ahead and go back over where the hell we were. And... R is going to be 1 because we're the unit sphere. Theta is going to be object long 1 rad. I'm just going to be doing this to be obnoxious. Because I still think we don't need to, to give back the latitude radian values. And then phi is going to be object 1 lat times math degree. And I probably mean degree. Okay. That's why two. Okay, now if we can, if we can't get this done, I'm going to cry. But I think this should be fine. And again, if this works with this, its JavaScript is way better than I thought it was in terms of being efficient. Because this is a very ugly way, when we get around to doing it. So now let's see what this does. Object 1 is not defined. Of course Object 1 is not defined. Oh, actually, that is correct. Yep, I meant to say Object Long 1, Object lat 1, not object 1 lat. Losing my mind. Longitude 2, and here object latitude 2. I'll be so happy if we actually get a number out of this. Yeah. That's too much to hope for, really. Um... Do I mean spherical to XYZ? Yes, I do. Hope persists. Ta-da! No. Boy. That spherical to XYZ should actually work. Mm -hmm. if, the, if the radius is 1, no combination of values, well, in, unless undefined is the, the issue, but um, no combination of numbers should be screwing it up. Beautiful. Batten zero today. Um, let's find the uh, xyz to spherical function. Um, 
sorry, spherical xyz function. Um, I'm using the mathemat the uh, templating thing, so this should work. Let's see how this is getting called. And like I said, I you know I said 99% 90% of uh, programming is debugging. Clearly, it's 100% of programming is debugging. Okay, good. That is fine. It is an object. I, I'll give you that. Um. So let's just actually see if we this this might spit out the object for us which is what I'm hoping for. Theta not a number, phi not a number. Okay, now we're, we're getting somewhere. Uh, it's not being called correctly. And let's see why that is. So, obj that one. Long one times math degree. And is it because I meant to do degree here? No, apparently it's not. Um, boy, this is going to kill us. All right, let's break it all the way down. Object long one is zero. That's correct times math degree, which is maybe the problem, is not a number. Okay. So I may have not... Uh, let's do math. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe I meant to do lowercase here. And it's quite possible that I just totally fucked this up. Okay. So I probably fucked this up somewhere. Not here. Not here. So it's already bad because... Did I just give make it a constant for myself? BC lib or something? Uh, constant earth radius. Constant degree. Wow. So that's been the problem the whole time. Um, and of course I could just use pi over 180 instead of going crazy with all this stuff. Um... So let me actually, should I be defining constants in global space? And I probably shouldn't be. I should be like, these should be like bclib.py and bclib. Um, and even bclib is not something I own, but it's, it's going to be tighter than having to put this into the global space. So this is probably just a really bad thing to do, but I've done it. So let's see. Now, I really don't know how to search this whole thing for all occurrences of math degree. Um, so I'm just going to cheat. <laughs> Equal degree, math degree. Yeah, I'm going to have to refactor this. This is not going to be, um, this is not going to be acceptable. But it's going to work. Finally! And that actually probably means the other stuff would have worked too. But anyway. Okay. And I probably should have commented it out instead of actually just uh, deleting it. But okay. Now the dot product is. And create a dot product. And to be honest with you, I think this is so ugly, I do not actually want to continue with this. Um, so we've been going for about oh, 45 minutes. Um, yeah, I think I've messed this up badly enough. I'm going to go ahead and make, download a copy of it just so I can... Uh, look to see where I've messed things up this much. Okay, so I think we're going to stop the stream now, and uh, the goal for tomorrow uh, is going to be not defining functions in the global space, not defining constants in the global space. I might define constants in the BC lib space, 
Um, although, to be honest, I think my my um, anything I define should be like info dot Barry Carter dot something but to follow the because uh, I own that I own Barry Carter dot info, so I can get away with that. Um, but I don't think I should be defining stuff. In the, I definitely shouldn't be defining stuff. I shouldn't be changing math, and I should not be defining stuff in the uh, global space. Um, so those are two badnesses I'm going to take care of tomorrow. Uh, for right now, I'm just going to call it BC Lib, and hopefully, if I ever need to change it, it'll be an easy uh, cut and paste to change. Um, but yeah, I should not definitely not be defining uh, stuff in the global space, or I shouldn't be changing the math function. Okay, thank you for watching. Um, that's it for today. Or for right now. I might stream later uh, today.